Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be playing this uh, team that got top 4 in Oceanic. Uh, but I just changed the Tarot Cat to an Arcanine just because it's uh, not really feeling Arcanine at the moment. So we're going to be testing this team out really quick. Alright. Okay, so we got interesting team here. You got, what's this called? Clink Clan. Uh, Gorgeis, Gastrodon, Titar, Arcanine, and a Togekiss. Okay. Um. So right away, my bishop could probably give this, give him some trouble. Uh, as well as Conkel there too. I just need to be able to put them in a decent position. Uh, but I really, what I really do like is this lead. And I also like Conkeldur and uh, Bishop in the back as well. Okay. You do have to worry about this Gastrodon. This Gastrodon is going to be a pretty big problem, I think. Okay, as it leads. Okay, it leads to King Clan. wonder if this is like a... Uh, could it be maybe shift gear? Could definitely see it be a shift gear with clear body. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for a protect. That's fine. Plus two. Okay. My Gengar maybe should outspeed this, right? <laughs> Those are pretty interesting. One of its move sets, shift gear, that one steel move, and wild charge, I think. Okay. Pretty big damage there. The Dynamax, yeah, it's, I would I would assume he would go for the Clink Clang, but that's okay though. It's a pretty inaccurate move too. It's like 85% inaccurate. Uh, I guess we'll just let him give give him some time before we put a timer on. Okay, I to choose this now. Huge damage, holy. Still gets the KO, which is very nice. Pretty unfortunate for us. Um, I think I just want to double onto this Gastrodon. <laughs> yeah, expecting the protect, and I kind of want some more uh, HP to be honest. Goes for Earth Power. Okay. All right, so here I am just gonna follow me. And I'm just gonna drain punch the T-Tar now. Gets the KO. It's very nice. Then I'll just... Okay, yeah. So, you win that one. It's very nice. That was gonna get a little sketchy with the... Uh, what's that called? With the Clean Clan. Uh, but... Yeah, we, we got it clutched up. Very surprised uh, my Conkaldur survived that too. Okay. Uh, Alright, we got a Colossal team. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What 
what's what do I what do I like here? Okay, uh, more than likely he's leading this. But if he doesn't lead that, what else could he lead? Maybe these two? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so let's see. I guess he's thinking a uh, couple minutes. I mean, I definitely think he's gonna bring uh, these two, and then potentially Mimikyu and Conkelda in the back, or Conkelda or Rotom. I can definitely see him do that because my Rotom, I have really don't, I don't have any uh, resist. Besides water resist, but uh, but still, yeah. Rodon can probably give me a big trouble here. Okay, it's taking a little too long. We're already seven minutes. And only one game. <laughs> a couple questions for you guys what kind of what kind of teams have you guys uh, been uh using or what kind of teams are you guys uh, like really like like do you guys like sun teams rain teams uh fantasy cores uh what about the like the triple ghost teams i don't know i don't know if you guys have been trying that out as well i'm a i'm actually not a big fan of triple ghost like i like it but then i don't like it like i guess like it has i don't know you have to play it really well, to be honest. I think you have to really know it. Okay, so he goes for Clefairy and Rodom. Okay, so. I think I'm just gonna Iron Head here and I'm just gonna Nasty Plot. To counter his Nasty Plot. Or to. You know. You know what I mean. I'm more than likely if that's what it's gonna go for. As it does. Alright. So he wins the speed tie first, which. which that's okay. Um. So it's gonna follow me here again. Uh, but the problem is, should I Dynamax and protect? That's the thing. I don't think it's gonna go to my Bisharp, by all means. If it does, I'd be completely confused as to why he would go for. Uh, Okay, so we we got a good play right there. We called it right. Uh, he he realizes my my Rotom is a threat as well. Uh, he probably thinks we uh he's faster than my Rotom since he did win the speed tie first. <laughs> yeah, so we yeah that, that turn worked out very well for us because we were able to get the KO on the Clefairy. 
and as well uh Rotom takes no damage because that was that, that that's like the biggest problem here too um is the Rotom okay as he goes into Kinkelder do I need do I need Bishop still I don't think I need Bishop there still so I am I think I just gonna double up onto this. Getting some huge damage there. Still wins the speed tie though. That's I don't like that. Okay. Um So I think I'm going to switch here and I'm also going to protect. Is that the play? I think it's going to go for mock punch here. Actually, I'm going to go into my Conkel there and I'm also going to max guard here. Let's turn the mock punch. I figured I'll protect. All right, so very nice play here. So the question is, does Mach Punch KO my Rotom from this range? Cause that did a lot. Like that actually did like, <laughs> at 30 percent and i'm pretty sure this is bulkier than this that goes for mimikyu good play bad play by him to be honest Uh, I am gonna thunder punch here, and I'm also just gonna dad's and gleam here um. So okay, so what do I so right now what do I wanna do? Like after this. So I think my way of winning this is after I get this KO. It's gonna he's gonna have Ronan, potentially the a broken disguise. I'll probably have my Bisharp, I mean my Conkelder. Goes for a play rough, which is okay, very very fine play by him. Um I think I want to protect my bishop to cover the... Just to cover the mock punch play or to even cover the... Uh, so I could definitely follow me here and attempt to KO the Mimikyu, but it might have... It might have a Phantom Force. But I at least want to cover that option. And if it does go for Phantom Force this turn, I could definitely just follow me and Iron Head next turn. Okay, goes for the Mach Punch. Goes for the double up, actually. Wow, interesting, interesting. That is very interesting. So, okay, a couple options here. He could definitely protect the Rotom. Uh, Mimic could go for a Phantom Force. Um, but I think, I think this is my safe play. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Cause yeah, I don't get knocked out. Nice. Nice. So we won that one. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, he would probably had a. I don't know what he would done. To be honest, yeah, the soccer pinch play was was the correct call. All right, so Brito running a kind of like a like a fast like trick room mode kind of way with Sun. So what do I do to beat Sun? Interesting. That keeps popping up. I don't know why. Um. I definitely think Kung Kelder here is, is going to be key, especially if I Dynamax it. Um. Ooh, I kind of want to bring Tarot Cat, but I'm not sure. So most definitely, yeah, I'm just going to attempt to follow me here and go for a trick room. Uh, best case scenario is if he like sunny days or if he like, what's the best case scenario? If he airstream, that's like the best case scenario. Okay. All right. See how much this does. Airstream. I'll get the KO there, which is fine. Uh, so the next heavy hitter will probably be my period coming in, correct? Anything right here, my next, the best play I could do is just reverse trick room. Okay, as it goes for ducks, dust clops. That's fine with me. As it goes for a nightshade. Foul play, interesting, very interesting. I'm just gonna have some nasty flat here. <laughs> I think that I think I should have uh I think I should have definitely Okay. For nightshade, that's okay with me. But fortunately, sand does not knock it out, even with the crit. So that's that's pretty annoying, if you ask me. Next one is Rhyperior. Why is foul play doing so much? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get why it was doing that much. I'm gonna have to check the. Sound burned. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna check on some of these couches. Well, yeah. That was crazy. That it was kept doing that much still. It was doing like at least 20% almost. Alright, we'll probably get one more. One or two. Ah, uh, okay. So, this sharp looks good here.
So does Tarot Cat here. I think this is a pretty good lead here. Man, I feel I do I do like uh actually Both of these seem pretty good. Let's can kill them in the back. And what's another great one actually? Actually I do like Bishop here. Ah, okay. So I could definitely I could go for a bit fake out and any one of these. Um so I actually I'm just gonna nasty plot up here. Yep. Oh okay, that's fine with me. Um What could I do here? I could definitely actually just uh, change the terrain already and follow me. It's for psychic. Okay. Here we are. Okay, so I could definitely just do a dazzling gleam here. If it goes for him. Okay, very nice. Um, what do I like here? I could definitely double protect here. follow me here huge I think that's huge it's life warp so that this is definitely KOing here all right let's see It's more unlikely weakness policy. Uh, it went slow, right? It was slow. That's crazy. This is probably like. That was still some big damage though. Iron Fist does 9D. Thunder Punch does more. Huge. Huge damage there. Nice, we got that one. Let's get another one. This will probably be the last one. I'm already gonna go into the 30 mark. I, yeah, and I really don't like uh, making long videos anymore, especially, uh, okay, oh, right. so we're going up against this guy, again, oh, this, yeah, this is the guy that led, uh, Togekiss and, uh, I mean Togekiss, um, Clefairy and, uh, Gordon. yeah, so we just faced this guy, so, the question is, does he want to make the same move again? That, that's the question. Yeah, that's the question if he wants to do the same move again or not. But I actually lead these right here. And then I do like Bisharp. And 
toga kiss at the end okay so he did leave the same uh, i led this this is definitely a, a little bit better on my part so here i could definitely taunt and i could nasty plot here This is this is covering the option of like protect. I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to protect here. Okay, or he's gonna Dynamax. That that could be a, definitely another option as well. Okay, so he... all right. So what else could he do here actually? I'm going to go to my Togekiss, and I think I'm just going to start clicking buttons now. It can't Helping Hand either, so... If it ha what does it have? It has Brick Break. Okay. Goes for Mimikyu. Okay. Huge, huge. So now we're definitely fast. So here next turn, um, if it brings back Kaflary, what I want to do is just protect and try attempt to try to hit a Hydro Pump here. Uh, we just have to hope we, we don't miss. Yeah. Definitely got max guard here. And I am gonna hope I hit this hydro pump. If we hit this hydro pump, we're gonna be in a really good position. Because then his his uh it's safe as well. Because I'm stalling one turn of his Dynamax. So it's not gonna be doing that much damage. Uh like the next turn. And I'm still gonna be in my Dynamax form. And we hit it, we get the KO, which is beautiful, beautiful. And there you go, we get the Protect there to stall out his last turn of uh, Dynamax. Last one's Conkel there. All right. Um, we know it's a uh, Flame Orb. So here I'm just gonna attempt to hit the Rodom. And... Uh, I guess we don't have to be crazy greedy. We could just simply just go into a... Uh... Oh, you know what? If we... This is a good play because uh, we set up the if we go for Dazzling Gleam here, uh, we set up the Misty Terrain so his Flame Orb doesn't activate so he's not going to be doing that much damage either. And this should get the KO as well. Yeah, and we I kind of expected the Protect there, uh, but the bigger problem was definitely the Rodom here, and then just easily just. Uh, Thunderbolt dancing lead for the game. All right, man, not bad. We played uh, five games uh, with one loss, so four and one, not bad. Um, I am kind of a little comfortable using this team. Um, I was playing it when uh, before in series two when like they uh, posted the paste and stuff like that of the team. Uh, we tried it out and it's actually really good. It's definitely there's a lot of things that you can do with this team. Um, I would say like the, like the crazy, like the best leads you can do is definitely Rotom and Togekiss, or Togekiss and uh, Gengar, or Togekiss and Bisharp, or uh, Bisharp and Gengar. Those are like definitely like really good leads. Um, uh, so yeah okay so the ladder didn't update which is okay i'm uh, just gonna double check to see where we're at 1745 75.5 uh yeah my per what, i think it's the win rate ratio it did go down a little bit i mean i was trying out some other teams so i don't really care too much um we're still in the 17 hundreds as well all right so we already hit the 30 mark guys so definitely thank you so much for watching uh i would definitely probably leave a 
a paste of this team in the description if you guys do like to try this team out uh it's a really fun team it's uh, really good as well uh, definitely um recommend you guys trying it out for you guys uh one thing to note what i realized uh since a lot of people are using like the triple triple ghost uh i found that a bishop is actually a really good counter to it uh especially even if you're going up against like uh, let's say yeah like if you dynamax against like triple ghost and they don't have like a fire uh pokemon it's gonna be really hard for them to get the ko on this uh monster and for like alex gomez's team uh the only one that has a fire move is um a togekiss but if it doesn't dynamax it's a, and we know it's but berry berry and it's not dynamax uh you know i'm pretty sure i would definitely get the ko if not then we, you know we'll, we'll be in dynamax form and we'll still take the heat wave with ease as well and then uh next paired up with like a paired up with gengar you know you can like start weakening the, the speed stats as well okay sorry right, so uh yeah drag this video a little too long all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video